Hi everyone, so I'm back with a great off-campus opportunity and this one is with Ford. So if you don't know by now, Ford is hiring for software engineers right now. So this is a great opportunity for all of you people that are looking for a full-time job right now. So in this video, we'll be talking about the role and the requirements that they have. We'll be talking about the eligibility and I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to get your resume shortlisted, what to put in your resume to have a good chance. So everything that you need for this role is going to be within the video. So make sure that you watch the complete video and then apply ASAP. The link to apply is going to be in the description box and the last date to apply for this is 13th of October. So make sure that you apply before that. Again, the link to apply is in the description box. And if you're someone who's having difficulty in off-campus placements, if you keep on getting rejected in off-campus placements, you're unable to get shortlisted, your resume keeps on getting rejected, you're not able to get a call back from anywhere, or if you're facing any similar issue in off-campus placements, then you can connect one to one with me, where I will personally help you, mentor you, and guide you and make sure that you have all of the necessary things so that you are able to crack your dream company. So you can connect one to one with me. The link for that is going to be in the description box. I've already helped hundreds and hundreds of students in getting placed in their dream company. You can check out the testimonials on my profile as well. Again, the link for that is in the description box. All right, now coming back to this opportunity, like I said, Ford is hiring for software engineers. So this is a great opportunity and the location for this is going to be in Chennai. So it is a Chennai based location. It is not remote. It is in office and it is a full time employment role. It is a FP role. It is not an internship. OK, and freshers are eligible for this. So let's talk about the eligibility first. So in the eligibility, they have clearly mentioned bachelor's degree or equivalent. OK, and in preference, of course, they've written bachelor of engineering. But anyone who has a bachelor's of bachelor's degree in anything right related to computer science related to software it doesn't matter if you're doing bca it doesn't matter if you're doing bsccs it doesn't matter if you're doing any other bachelor's degree you are eligible so what my suggestion to you is if you have the relevant skills if you feel like you have the relevant skills apply for it just go for it okay so that is pretty much the eligibility criteria if you still have any doubt then feel free to ask in the comments and we'll have a discussion there now that we're done with eligibility, now let's move towards the technical requirements or how do you get your resume shortlisted? Okay, so this role is a bit aligned towards Java backend and frontend. So it is sort of like a full stack role, a full stack developer role where you have basically frontend and you have backend. Backend is more aligned towards Java. Like if you have Java in your resume, if you know Java Spring Boot, if you made any project, then that will give you a bit of an edge. And this is something that will help you in a lot of companies, because see, I do market research on a daily basis. So I know which companies are hiring for what tech stack, which tech stack is actually in demand, which tech stack will not help you. I have a good idea of all of this now that I'm doing daily market research. And let me tell you, Java is a great tech stack. It's a great programming language and Java related tech stack are pretty much high in demand. Okay. And almost all of the big tech companies are working on Java related tech stack. And I'm also making a video about how to become a Java developer. So I'll be uploading that video either tomorrow or day after tomorrow. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. Okay. But in a nutshell, this is what this role is aligned towards. What I'll be doing, I'll be giving you guys a list of keywords that matches with their JD, that aligns with their JD. So you'll find a list of those keywords in the description box. You can use them, integrate them in your resume. Okay. By integrating, I do not mean just put these under your skill section. No integrate them under your projects. It has to be actionable. See, any keyword in your resume will only give you points under ATS if it is actionable. So companies have specific ATS. I might have told you this in other videos. You may remember this. You might remember this, right? Every company will have a specific ATS in which they'll be looking for keywords that matches with their JD. If you, if you have a perfect resume, but you have something in backend and the company is looking for front end, you're not going to get selected because it's not going to match their JD. So that's why I give you these keywords so that you can match your resume according to their JD, according to their technical requirements. And that will give you a great edge in getting selected. Of course, other than that, the general things, you already know the drill, have a high quality project, have a good ATS score, have a good resume template, a resume template and websites for ATS score checking, I'll give in the description box. You can just use them. Apart from that, if you have any employee in Ford that you know that you're connected with, you can ask them for a referral as well. Again, the last date to apply is 13th of October. Make sure that you get a referral way before that. So if you manage to get a referral, that will also give you a bit of edge in getting selected. Okay. Apart from that, once you get shortlisted, once you get selected, you'll have to go across the interviews. What I'll be doing, I'll be giving you guys some interview experiences, some links to interview processes so that you'll be able to understand what the interview process is going to be like. 
and you can prepare accordingly. You can prepare according to that. Okay. So everything that you need, the resume template, the keywords for matching with the JD, the interview experiences, the interview process, everything is going to be in the description box. Make sure get, that you go through the description box properly and then apply. Here you have time. Usually these openings close within a day, within a couple of days, but here you have a little bit of time. You have till 13th of October. So make sure that you apply before that. And again, this is a full-time role in Chennai. So again, remember that and only apply if you are willing to relocate to Chennai. Okay. So that's pretty much it. If you have any doubt, feel free to let me know in the comments. And again, I'll clarify it there for you. And if you need any help with your placement journey, if you need mentorship in how to prepare, in knowing how to prepare, you want to crack the big tech companies, the top companies, but you don't know how to, then again, you can connect one to one with me and I'll personally help you and we will work together and make sure that you're able to get placed in your dream company. The link for that is in the description box. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure that you subscribe because I'll be bringing a lot more opportunities to you guys. All you have to do is subscribe. Stay tuned for the videos.